Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be having a look at this Yoga 6. Uh, it's got some faulty memory on it and unfortunately we've got to change out the whole main board. Right, so to get into this unit we've got some um, star headed screws I think it is a T5 so these are T5 screws so we're going to remove all of these all the way around and then once you've got the screws out we want to take a couple of prizer tools and we're going to use this one here and we're going to go in at the back, just under the corner, I'm going to prise up the corner and then we're just going to run that down there to free that up. And again, along the back cover, just to unclip that and again in this corner. And then that should just lift off, which it does. Okay, so we've got to take out the whole main board. So what we want to do is the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. Cool, that's a tough one. Okay, I think we're going to, have to we'll take the battery out first for this one. Uh, a couple of screws here, one, two, and one up the top. So three M2 3.5 screws. Okay, so that's all the screws removed and we can take up the battery and we'll just lever this out like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, we're just going to go and start disassembling everything. So I'm going to take out the M.2 drive because we're going to do a fresh install on that. Put that to one side. The next thing, we're going to take out the Wi-Fi card because I'm going to use reuse this Wi-Fi card. So this has got a little plastic cover on it, which is basically stuck on, which is a little bit annoying. So we're just going to peel that back to get to the screws. Put that to one side. And now we can remove the Wi-Fi card. And we're gonna take the cables out of this, actually. Oh, an aerial's come off there. That's what I didn't want to happen. Okay, so we could take those aerials off, I think. And we can still remove the card. Although, there's no need because our replacement board comes with a card. Okay, so let's go ahead and start disconnecting things. So we're going to peel this all the way off because we're going to need that. I'm going to Keep it there so I know it's from here. I'm just going to lift up that and we're going to take the ribbon cable out. And then we're going to do exactly the same here. We're going to keep this tape. Put that there and we're just going to disconnect these cables. They all just lift up and remove fairly easily. Like that. Okay, so we've got a speaker over here. So I'm just going to unplug that. Okay, so the next thing is the fan. So let's go ahead and see if we can gently get this out as well. That's Oh, 
that's difficult. There we go. So that's the CPU fan. Uh, I'm just going to remove the two screws holding it in, or certainly this one. Two of them actually, because I'm going to take it out completely. There we go. So that's that fan removed. Put the screws with that there. Okay, so the next thing is we want to take off the CPU cooler or heat spreader. Three screws on there. Like that, and this should just carefully lift up. Okay, so there's one little bit of cooling pad there. So I've got some, so I can replace that. So that is not a problem. So I'm just going to do that before I go any further so I don't forget. Okay, so that's that part taken care of. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. So now we're going to disconnect the display. I think that hopefully will just pop off. I need a little bit of help. There we go. That's that off. Okay, let's have a look at this plastic here. Let's see if we've got... Okay, so that looks like it's part of the main board, so I'm going to leave that in place. Okay, what do we got over here? So this is our power switch connector, so that can come out. Okay, I think that is everything. So now we can start removing the screws, of which there's quite a few of them all the way around. Okay, I might need to take this one out after all, I think. Uh, not sure, actually, I'll leave that one in for now. Okay, let's see if we can get this main board out. Okay, so that was successful. Let's pop that to one side, and then we've got our new main board here, or our replacement main board, I should say. It's not new. Okay, and then let's get this one. There's a couple of pins, so there's a pin here and here that you line up. And then that allows you to position it in the right place. There's another pin over here, just there, which allows it to be positioned in the right place. So now let's just get these cables all out of the way so we can start assembling them again. Okay. Right. We'll get our screws popped back in first of all. Uh, this was here, wasn't it? Over the top. Yes. One more screw goes here. And that holds down the M.2 drive, but does that actually... hold down the main board. Yes, it does. Okay. So we'll get the M.2 drive installed as that appears to uh, hold this corner of the main board down. Okay. Now we can take our cooler. So we want to put a little blob of thermal paste on here.
should be sufficient. And then we're going to take our cooler. I'm not going to bother cleaning this off because this is brand new paste on the bottom, so it's not going to do any harm. And that lines up like that. So all we're doing on here is we're just starting them off. I'm not doing them up tight to start with, just to get the screws uh, started off. And then we can go all the way around and tighten them all the way down. Just finger tight is sufficient. And then we can get our CPU cooler fan back in. I've got two screws for this. Right, now I'm just going around just checking to make sure that we've got everything connected that we need to in terms of the screws in. Right, over here I can see what the problem is is why that wasn't sitting down properly. Just take that back out because the power connector I've unfortunately got stuck under there. So we can we can get that back up and I can get that out. There we go. Easily there we go. Now we can just put the screws back in. Okay, so now we can start plugging in the connectors. So the first one we're gonna reconnect is the power switch. And that was easy enough. Next, we're gonna connect the CPU fan. like that. Next it's the aerials, so there we go. Okay, so that's the Wi-Fi connected. That's escaped, so that needs to go under there. Yep. Okay, next is the ribbon cables. Get it into the right position. And then lock the tab down. Same for these other ones. Lift the tab up. Insert the ribbon cable carefully. Lock down, and then we're going to take our tape that we saved to stick over the three of them, like that. And on this one, we had some clear tape, didn't we? So we're going to take that off the cable there, and that's going to get stuck over there, like that. Now we're going to attach the speaker. like that and now the display cable it just pushes on like that right so next we can now get our, new, our battery back in so let's see if we can get all this if we can get this slide in easily. Okay, yeah, that was easy. And then position our battery. Okay, so we've got our three screws for the battery. Right, so that's the laptop reassembled. Now what I'm going to do is, let's just get this open. A little bit and turn it on, see if we get any life out of it. 
So the lights come on, but I don't hear much else at the moment. Light is on. Ah, there we go. Default boot device missing or boot failed, which is correct because that's a brand new disk. So we've now got to install Windows 11 on it. So if I press and hold this, I can hear the fan, see the fan going now as well. So the fan's all good. Right, so we can get the cover back on. So I can hear the fan whirring away now. As I open the lid, it's uh, it switched it on, so it'll be sat at the, uh, the missing boot device screen at the moment until we uh, get a bootable Windows 11 drive installed. And there we have it. So, let's now go ahead and get uh, Windows 11 installed on here. So that was the fairly simple task of replacing the mainboard on this device. All looks like it's working. So what we're going to do is install Windows 11 on it and then um, run that for a couple of days just to make sure because the problem before it was just constantly blue screening and then ran some diagnostics and uh, it failed on uh, one of the memory tests or a couple of the memory tests in actual fact. So because the memory is part of the main board, you've got no alternative but to change the whole motherboard, which is a bit of a pain, but this was uh, £179 from eBay, so we'll get Windows 11 installed on it and then um, get that back to our client. If you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.